All right, as you're creating your presentations in PowerPoint 2008, at some point or another, you're going to need to add some new slides. Of course, there's many different slide layouts to choose from. So in this lesson, we're going to look at a few different ways to insert new slides into a presentation. And we'll also examine ways to remove slides you no longer need. Now, if you've been following along in the previous lesson, we started a brand new presentation using a theme here. And I've typed in my title slide, Welcome ECP Quarterly Review. If you're jumping to this lesson and you've got the exercise files, you can get all caught up by opening up Introducing ECP. It's a PPTX file in the Lesson 2 folder of the exercise files. We only have one slide. We can see a thumbnail representation of that slide over here in our navigation pane. And of course, this is a title slide. Now, one way to add new slides to your presentation is to click the New Slide button. But there are defaults attached to using this button. Notice that as I hover over the button, it says a new slide will be inserted using the layout of the most recently selected slide, which happens to be a title slide. So that rule sometimes applies. What I'm saying is if you've got a title slide and you click the new slide button, you're not going to get a second title slide. Typically, a PowerPoint presentation will have one title slide. You may have subtitles on some other slides, but you usually wouldn't have more than one title slide. So clicking this button is actually going to add a new slide that will have a title and an area for content. So let's give it a try here. Automatically, when you add new slides or insert slides, they're added after the currently selected slide. So in this case, there's only one slide. It is selected. When I click the New Slide button, look what happens by default. A new blank slide is added. I've got an area here to add a title. And I've got an area down below for some content. That content could be text. If I click here to add text, I'm going to get a bulleted list. Or I might want to insert a table, a chart, smart art graphics, pictures, clip art, or even a movie file by selecting any of these icons down below. We're going to talk about each of these as we move through the lessons in this title. But I wanted you to see that the rule that we see here when we hover over the button doesn't always apply. Now, if I was to click New Slide, I would get another one of these slides showing up after this. So I'm going to go ahead and click New Slide. And sure enough, it's a duplicate using the same layout with a title and content. Now, to remove a slide, we didn't really need that. All you have to do is click on it over here on the left-hand side. Or if you want to remove multiple slides, you could click on the first slide, hold down your Shift key, click on the last slide. In this case, I'm selecting two. And hit your Delete key on the keyboard. It's as easy as that. You can also right-click or Control-click to see a pop-up menu. And Delete slide also appears here. So we're back down to one slide. Now, another way to insert a slide, well, if we go up to the Insert menu, we can insert new slide. That's the same as clicking the new slide button. A duplicate slide. So not only is it the same slide layout, but the same content as well. Or slides from the slide layout section, another presentation, or an outline file. So we've got lots of options for inserting slides here. But what I like to do is go to my Elements Gallery. So this is going to be your introduction to this area here, just under our standard toolbar called the Elements Gallery. And you'll notice slide layouts appear here. We can go here to change the layout of a slide or to add a new slide with a selected layout. Notice over here that Apply to Slide is selected. And if I was to click on any of these particular slide layouts, they would be applied to my currently selected slide. So if I click here, you can see how that's changed. The content's still there, but the slide layout has changed. That should be a title slide. So I'm going to click on this first one, which is a title slide. How do I know that? shows up over here in the left-hand corner. So as I hover over these different thumbnails, you can see the name, which gives you an idea of the actual slide layout. In this case, section header. There's two content or comparison. Now, according to my window width here, I've got three sections. Depending on how wide your window is, you may have two or four for that matter. But as you scroll through the different sections, you'll see there's quite a few different slide layouts to choose from. Here's vertical title and text. There's a title and vertical text. And we've got lots of different options as we move through these thumbnails. So if I wanted to insert a new slide, I then have to come over here to this radio button, Insert New Slide. Little plus signs show up over each of the thumbnails indicating whatever I click on here is going to be added to my presentation after the currently selected slide. And that layout will be applied. So I'm going to go over here to, well, let's try this one down here, which is a section header. When I click on it, I get my new slide. 
It's added after the currently selected slide, which was my title slide, and it's using that header format. So in here, I can click to add title. I'm going to type in agenda, where it says click to add text down below. I'm going to type in January 2008, like so. Now, the plus signs remain. Insert new slide stays there, so I can go to another one and start adding some new slides. So here I'm going to go to this one, the second one, which is title and content. Give it a click, and it gets added down below my currently selected one, which was to the agenda. Now I've got a third one. And when I'm done with the Elements Gallery, I can click the Slide Layouts tab or click the Gallery button to hide that. And I'm just looking at my slide now. So the agenda, I'm going to say Day 1. And down below, I could start adding text. Where it says Click to Add Text is going to create a bulleted list using the current theme. Of course, I could do it in a table if I wanted to. And all these other options appear with this particular slide layout. I'm going to click here. So type introduction. When I hit return, I've got a new bullet. I'm going to type in overview of 2007, Q4 results, lunch, and you would continue on adding information into your slide. So there's three slides in our brand new presentation. They all have that same theme applied to them by default because of what we did in the previous lesson. But there are different ways for us to insert new slides using different slide layouts. Now we're going to explore slide layouts in greater detail as we move through the various lessons in this title. But you should have a good idea of the various scenarios or different ways for you to add new slides to a presentation. If you want the default, clicking the New Slide button will always create a new slide after the currently selected slide, keeping the same format. So that's kind of handy right here with slide three selected where I've got a title and some content. If I want another one of these, clicking New Slide, I know is going to insert a new slide using that layout because it's already selected. And sure enough, there it is. I could type Day 2 in here and continue with my bulleted list. So I think you've got the idea. Inserting new slides, pretty easy to do using the new slide button. But keep in mind, you've got slide layouts to choose from. You can apply those layouts to a slide after it's been added or before. And I always like to go in here before, choose Insert New Slide, and then go through the various slide layouts that I can choose from. So whatever you like to do, go ahead and do it. We're going to continue now working with additional slides. But what happens when you've got lots of them and you need to change the order that they appear in? That's what we're going to look at in the next lesson.